Hey, what's going on guys? Ranger Dave here with Nuclear Warfare, and I'm going to run through the uh, Daisy Launcher with you guys on version 00.21, as you can see down here. So uh, I've just reformatted my computer. Everything's uh, default here, and I don't have any of the uh, Arma 2 games installed at the moment. So uh, I'm going to run, run you guys through the entire process from start to finish here. Um, first things I'm going to do is get my Arma 2 installed and running. I install my games on a separate drive. Your drive might be C, Program Files, Steam. Mine's going to be D, Program Files, Steam. So get this Arma 2 game running here and installed. And then uh, once that's finished, I'm going to go and install the Arma 2 Operation Airhead, which is this one here. Those are the only two games that I'm going to be installing here, and then I'm going to be installing the uh, launcher here. So uh, pretty much starting with the uh, Arma 2. Uh, once that's finished, I will uh, come back to you guys and start with the Arma 2 Operation Airhead. And just a side note here, this is being installed into the uh, program folders, Steam, um, Steam Apps, Common and then your game. So uh, let's see, it's not here yet because it's still installing, but it'll be showing up here soon. So your path, when it comes time, is going to be the drive that you installed on, which mine is C, or excuse me, D, and then program files, Steam, Steam apps, and then common, and then the actual game. So if this was Arma 2 here, then our, our path would look like this here. Um, your drive, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then the game, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. But we're not working with Counter-Strike, we're working with Arma 2. So uh, once this done installing here, I will run the Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead install and then come back to you guys. All right, and we're back. Uh, so I went ahead and just installed the Operation Arrowhead, Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead, um, after finishing Arma 2. So the only things that I've done so far was installed Arma 2 and Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead. I haven't opened these or anything. One of the most important things you do when you're trying to install uh, mods for DayZ and getting the Arma 2 games running is to start these games before doing anything else. So before I go to DayZLauncher.com and install my launcher, I need to start these games. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start the game here and get to the uh, main menu screen and then exit out. And then we'll do the same for Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead. It's really important that you guys run the initial setup from Steam here. If you guys try to run from the desktop or something, it's not going to install your Battle Eyes. Um, or it might have problems installing the Battle Eyes. So I always run my programs from the Steam. Oh, that's weird. Okay, but it's going to launch anyways. Cool. Sorry guys, I'll go back and forth with my video here. So once you get to this screen, you can go ahead and exit out. We don't need to do anything else at this point here. And then we'll go back to our games. And we will do the same thing with our uh, Arma 2 Operation Overhead. Now Battle Eyes installing on my uh, Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead. Successfully installed. This window will close here in just a second. Don't close this window. Let it close itself. And then the game will initiate. Um, I have a uh, Czech Republic uh, download content for this game. So it's going to install that for me right now. You may not see the screen right here when installing um, if you don't have the uh, download content for Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead.
All right, and then once we get to the main menu of Operation Arrowhead, we can go ahead and do the same and close from here. So now we've initiated both of our games and we've confirmed both the games are installed and running. From here, we can go to our Daisy launcher and install our launcher. I have Firefox, so the setup might be a little bit different from you guys here. So I go ahead and save my file there one minute to the install. And that was less than one minute. So then we'll go ahead and launch the uh, software here right away. I'm going to go ahead and install it in the same drive that I have my game. It doesn't matter where you install this. I just have free space on my D drive. So you could leave this on your uh, default drive there if you wanted to. Um, or pick a different location. It doesn't matter where it's installed. Uh, name the desktop icon there. Create the desktop icon. Actually, that was the start menu that I was naming back there. Um, and then install the program. Simple as that. All right, so we finished our Daisy launcher. We've started our Arma 2 game, went to the main screen there, and then we went and did the same with Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead. Started the game, went to the main screen, exit out of both. Then we installed our Daisy launcher, and here we are on the uh, new launcher system. Now, this is default. I haven't touched anything from this. This is absolute 100% uh, freshly installed. So the first things I'm going to do is go to my settings tab at the top right, go to settings, and then check my mods download path. My mods download path. Now remember, this is supposed to be your uh, Steam app, so uh, now I just want to confirm that these are the correct paths. Um, I installed it in the D drive. Uh, that's my spare drive, as mentioned before. Program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Arma 2, Operation Arrowhead. So we're going to go to our file here and confirm. D drive, program files, Steam. Steam apps, common, and then Arma 2 operation there. Yep, we got it. Okay, and then we're going to confirm the uh, same thing with Arma 2 path. I'm not going to mess with my uh, force download speeds or anything like that. I don't ever have any problems with that, so I'm not going to touch that. Uh, go down to the Arma 2 path and confirm that your Arma 2 is installed and set on the correct path there. Um, Arma 2 is right here, so I know it's installed and it's in our D drive. Same thing with Arma 2 operation airhead path as you did with the mods path above there. So uh, confirm that that's Arma 2 Operation Airhead. Yep, looks good. Okay, so I don't need to mess with anything else in here. Um, and I don't need to save because that's default. So I'm going to close my settings here. And uh, this is the tricky part here. Um, in the tutorial that you guys saw previously, you had to add a bunch of stuff in the advance here and do all the stuff here. You don't have to do any of this anymore. Um, simply now, you just install the mod that you want. I'm going to allow access to the firewall for the Daisy launcher. And I'm going to install Daisy, the newest one, 1861 here. Um, if you're playing Epoch, you'd want to do the same with Epoch. And if you're playing Overpoch, which is a mix between Epoch and Overwatch, right here, you'd want to install Overwatch also. Previously in the uh, last tutorial, you guys had to go set perimeters and stuff like that and enable mods from here. You don't have to do that anymore. Simply just install the mods and you're good to go. Uh, once these are finished installing here, I'm going to the servers page and I'm going to go find a server here. So everything looks good. These are going to take a little bit here. Uh, one of them is two, almost two and a half gigs here. Uh, the other one is over two and a half gigs. So uh, we'll be done with Daisy 1861 before anything else here. So I'm going to go ahead and let these finish and then I'll get back to you guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Uh, I had a little bit of issues while I was downloading my Epoch and my Overwatch here. Um, two or three hours went by. It was a really long download. And when it got to about two gigs there, both of them stopped. And they uh, were not reporting any download speeds or anything. Um, I let it sit for another 30 minutes or so, and nothing happened. So I went ahead and stopped them. I clicked stop on both of them. And then nothing happened after that. So I, cl or I closed the program. Um, I reopened the program, and once I reopened the program, the Overwatch here showed that it was installed, and Daisy Epoch showed that it was corrupted. So I uh, verified Daisy Epoch by clicking the verify button, and it uh, went ahead and re-downloaded it. About 20 minutes later, I'm at this point here where I'm seeding, so my Epoch is now done. I can go ahead and stop my seeding there. Um, so... It may be that my Overwatch might still be corrupted. I'll check it out, and uh, we'll kind of just go from there. Um, but pretty much, I think I'm good to go here. So I'm going to go ahead and try to find the Epoch server. 
All right, here we go. We have a Daisy Overwatch, uh, Daisy Epoch, uh, 55 players, Ternois. And uh, let's see where this takes us here. All right, so we almost got there. Uh, we need to update our battle line manually. Uh, if we're going to be getting kicked off instantly like this, then uh, the auto update did not uh, enable correctly. If you guys have any problems like I did with the uh, launcher kicking you from battle line, then uh, simply go to battleye.com and go to the downloads page here. Oh, let me get this window for you. It's not showing it. There we go. Battleye.com. Downloads page. And on the uh, downloads page, scroll down to your Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead, including DZ Mod, and then uh, download the Battleye client for Windows, not the service or the server, but the Battleye client. This will put a single file onto your desktop or wherever you install. I install my stuff onto the desktop. Take that file and then go into your root directory of your game, which is Steam, Steam Apps common army 2 operation arrowhead and then you'll see a uh, expansions place this in the battle eye folder of your expansions as stated right here okay and that's pretty much it let's try this again All right, looks like we are live. I got to fix my graphic settings. This is horrible. And, uh, yep. Yeah. Nice. Got some nice mods in this one. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes our uh, tutorial on uh, getting the newest launcher running and available. And if you guys need any help or you're having any issues, uh, definitely let me know through the comments there, and I'll try my best to help you guys out. Alright, thanks for watching you guys, and happy hunting. Take care.